Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video 8 in our Christmas medley slash holly jolly series. And we're also using some papers by Caroline's Craft Tree, Liana Scrap, and maybe one more. I keep forgetting. Anyway, um, I should have it written down right in front of me, but I believe those are the main two, Caroline's Craft Tree and Liana Scrap. Um, if you get the PDF, if you're a member of the Facebook group, the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group, you get a step-by-step -step free PDF that goes along with this series so that you can, like, look at the steps and follow along with the video at the same time. And then a lot of times, uh, video, audio, and uh, reading uh, instructions will go, you know, you'll get them better. Um <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so a quick overview here of what we've done. This is what our um, writing card looks like. Now I sprayed it with that triple whatever and it sealed it, but the paper soaked it in so it's not shiny, but it is sealed. And then I put the um, book corners on. And we'll go over how to put those on when we're doing the cover. And then this is what the back side looks like. And now I didn't put any kind of, um, I didn't glue any kind of decoration or anything on it because that defeats the purpose. It needs to be flat. Okay. Now I also had to finish a couple pages off camera. And um, I believe this was one of them. I put the tab and the charm on this card. I don't know if we had the card made in the video or not. I really don't remember. Um, but it seems to me like make writing card is one of the things that I leave for you guys to do. This is the other writing card. I used glossy accents on it. And then um, I'm debating on where to put some lace on here. I've been trying to put lace on every page. Then if you remember our double flat page, it now looks quite different. I've put two pockets on and I've used glossy accents on both. You can see the birds, they're so pretty. And put in two tags with the pockets. Then the um, flaps open. How does this open the wrong way? Are we going to have to swap these? Oh, we can't. Anyway, I guess it doesn't matter which way they open. Um, the flaps open this way. And oh, I'm missing a card here. And um, then this one opens, and I'm missing a card there too. And I thought I went through it, but I do have all the lace on. And I put charms on each tag. I made the tags. I'm not sure that we did that on camera. I don't think we did. So I made the two cards and put the tabs on them. And then um, I put the charms on. So these are all things that we covered in earlier videos. And then I put on an acetate pocket like we did earlier uh, with the belly bands in the pockets. And then that's where I put our shaker card. Okay. So that's that. And I think that was all I was doing the ketchup on. <laughs> you know, not the mayonnaise, but the ketchup. Ha <laughs> ha. And then um, we're going to be doing pages... Um, where did 14 go? 14, 15, and hopefully 16 in this video. We may run over the hour just a little bit. All oh, the magnet was sticking to everything. And this, of course, is our bookmark. I just stuck it in here so it wouldn't get lost. And our writing card. Okay, page 14 is here. And it looks like a lot. No, it's not a CD. That's our die cut. Um, and I'm not sure what tab we're going to use, whether we're going to use um, one of these or if we're going to stencil on this doily. I'm not really sure of which. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like. I'm, I would like to stencil on the doily for something different than our regular tabs. So we're going to be using this stencil. We're going to be using the new... Um, Lumberjack plaid red ink, and I love it. I absolutely love this color. As you can see, it's a beautiful Christmas red. 
we're going to be using the die because we're going to cut a window in this big long envelope. This is what the stencil is going to look like. I accidentally sealed the envelope before I cut the window, so everything's coming off here. I'm hoping that uh, it's okay, <laughs> that it came off already. Yeah, this is our paper. These are the tabs. You know, we could use both, actually. Here's our stencil and our envelope. This is just to cover the work surface. So uh, that um, lumberjack plaid is a very wet color. So if you do it on this surface here and then you move stuff around, you're going to end up with ink on it. Believe me, I can testify to that. So we're going to make sure to use our mat, which is really a manila folder uh, for that. So now we can set this to the side. Not going to be using it right away. And we can set the die here for just one second. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to stencil on both sides. I'm going to put this over in the scraps. And so the first thing we're going to do is cut and ink the paper, which I did. We're going to add a window to the envelope. That's the next thing we're going to do. Now, we have to, oh no, have to take it apart for that. We need it to look pretty still for when we glue it back together. Okay. You know what I mean? You don't want to murder it. This is okay, and then we're just going to glue right back over it. Okay, so we're going to get out our big shot. And I just thought about this and I realized that we're probably going to need if this piece of manila folder would work. What I'm looking for is a piece to buffer so we don't get the outline of the window on the back. Okay, so let's give it a try. I've got a spare envelope. I mean, we can just decorate over it if we need to. And we need to, you know, possibly decorate on the back anyway. So let's put this in with our die. Oops. <laughs> Pieces are flying. Now we want to get as big of a window as we can in this envelope. That looks nice. Let's put this here. And then fold this in. See if we can minimize the uh, outline on this side from the. Uh... Okay. From the back side of the die. Not sure how much it will help, but we'll see. Made it pretty thick because it's manila folder. So 
Sorry about that. You know, when I looked on the or listened on the camera before, it um, wasn't really very loud, but in here, it's really loud, and um, it's a big thud. No, it still made an imprint on the back side. In fact, it almost made more because it was so thick. Well, let's we'll stencil it to see what it looks like. Probably be able to see it more. Okay. So now we're going to um seal the envelope that was silly wasn't it Seal this first. <laughs> My glue is supposed to be here this afternoon, so I'm hoping it will be a reprieve instead of it not getting here until tomorrow. Let's glue this back shut. Glue this shut. Okay, now we're going to cut this for a window, I mean for a card, and I'm trying to decide if we're going to do it from the top or if we're going to just cut out a little notch from this side. Because... And it doesn't matter about gluing across here, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, let's cut the whole thing, and we can always glue up a little bit of it if we need to. So we're going to do it on this side. We're going to do just a smidge. Now, this is a little bit different cream color than the rest of the uh, paper. But I did spray it with the sparkly. Anything that I don't mention has been sprayed. So, I did spray everything. The reason I didn't just use a pre-made envelope, which I actually could have on this project, I didn't have to cut my own window, however, um, my own crooked window, however, um, I didn't have one that wasn't all kind of ripped up, and you need a, um, a pristine envelope for that. I don't think this is going to work. Um, well, we're making a floating pocket envelope. So if the back doesn't look right, I'll make another one off camera. 
What else did we not do? We didn't put the acetate inside. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make another one on camera. I'll pretend like there's acetate in there, and then I'll make another one off camera. I don't know what I am thinking. I really don't. So then you would stencil it, and you're going to paper this here so it doesn't matter whether you get the stencil on there or not. And I'm going to use a big brush for this one, but I got these little brushes, and they, they're really cool. I get them on Amazon for about $10. There's a whole set of these small ones to use on the smaller stencils, which is what I've been using on the uh, backs of all the cards which I don't think I've gotten them all yet. I've been working on it, though. With this stencil, which I cut out on my scan and cut, I downloaded an SVG from online, which if you don't use this type of equipment means nothing to you, but that's all right. I'm going to tell the people that, that do. Um, I downloaded the file from the Internet, and I opened it up in the software that comes with the machine. And then I resized it for what I wanted, and then I put several on the page because it's kind of silly. Uh, several different ones on the page. It's silly to waste a page to make a stencil that's not the whole page. And um, it looks pretty cool. And then we'll do another one here. You can see the real red here, and then the red on the cream is right there. Anyway, so I resized it, and then I printed it out, or cut it out, directly from the computer, from the file on the computer. And um, then I used a pick, you know, to pick out the pieces. Now, check this out. I'm working with or crafting with some of my friends and online or in Messenger. And I was complaining about using the pick. You know what I mean? To get all these little pieces out of different things and everything. And my friends go, yeah, see how that's going to show up. have to do something. Maybe cut double window. That might work. And you need to do all four, even though you're thinking, why? This is obviously too long for the page. We're gonna she's going to be doing something to it. Why do we need all four? You'll see in just a minute here. And you have to wait until after you cut the window to stencil it because you have to have the envelope sealed to stencil. Darn. It's very smart. And one more. But you see, you can see the lines from the window. So I think what I'll do is cut it right straight from the back, make it a double window, and then and then we'll just be able to see both sides of the card, which would be fine because the cream side on one side is going to be stenciled and um, with a Christmas stencil. I'm pretending like this looks like a giant snowflake. That's my story. <laughs> I think I said that once already. Um, but 
But anyway, that would look fine through the window. I have the image on the front. So when I redo this, um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got all four. We've got our window and we've got this cut open. So now the next thing we're going to do is get all that wet ink out of the way. And you're going to get it on your hands. Okay, so you might want to go wash your hands at this point. Um, so then we need to, oh, we can, uh, oh, right. So then we would paper inside the envelope. And I've shown you how to do that a few times. Just cut the piece of paper, slide it in, and glue it. Okay, so you're going to paper it. Then you're going to fold the bottom of the envelope up. And you're going to fold it up past the bottom of the window. I know. Just, you know, you don't want to cover a ton of it. Just cover the edge. Then you're going to fold this corner back. That's why we had to stencil the back. Or the bottom, even though you were like, she's going to fold it. They won't even see it. But see, this is why you go below the window or above the window. Okay. Then, um, you can open it back up. And you can glue the, this part right here where the flap is back together Then you've got the fold to go by. And if you want to, at this point, you can glue across here. Open that back up for a second. And just glue across your line. And that will reinforce the pocket area, but I mean, we are going to fold it up and glue it, but still. So then you're going to glue this part right here. hard with the stencil but I made this one of these with a tan stencil of uh, roses and it was really pretty probably could have inked the uh, see now if there was acetate in there that would have helped hold that down but I'm just basically showing you the folds right now then you're going to glue this down into a tuck so you're going to glue this right here and just the bottom and that will give you a tuck right here so what you end up with is a pocket and a pocket right here 
and a tuck right here. The front and the back are decorated. You've got the place for your card, which I'm sure there's a way to do that where it doesn't stick up. Maybe the way you glue it. This envelope is thin compared to a regular business envelope. So, um, I mean, uh, one that you get in the mail is heavier. But anyway, so you take the doily and you stencil it. And see if this works. Well, if I can keep it in one spot, it looks like it is going to work. And I'm barely, barely brushing. Not bringing it down very hard at all on the outside edges there. And then when you make your card, this will be your tab. Oh, how pretty. So you'll fold it in half on your card. That's why you made the window so big, too. And then that will be your tab to pull your card out. Then just make a regular card for here. And a regular little tuck from the ephemera will go here. Then add a decorative paper clip. Just tie a ribbon on it, and then you put that on the page. And from the way this looks, I'm going to use a different paper. reason I chose it is because it had an image in the middle, because we're not going to put a pocket or anything on here. So I think I will leave it like that. But... Um, yeah, so I'll have to move the window over. I'm going to make a double window and uh, remember to put the acetate in. But other than that, it'll look just like this. And um, yeah, that'll be that page. So if you want to put a tab on your card to slide it out, you can. But um, I would just put a regular tag there without anything. Okay? All right. So that's going to be that page. And I'll redo it off camera. Okay. Now, this next one. We ink with the vintage photo. out of the way, but I don't want to get ink on the lace. Okay. So I've cut and inked the paper. This will be our paper. We're going to make a flap with a tuck, a double tuck. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to make a flap out of this. We're going to leave it the 11 inches and then we're going to cut it um, four inches wide. And we're going to score it. At three and a quarter. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the envelope, which is we're going to only we're going to fold this up to make a top. And we're going to make this edge meet the crease. As best we can. I've never been able to make it work out exact. This one looks pretty darn close. Now, before you do anything else, any gluing or anything like that, you want to open this back up and you want to paper this triangle. And the reason you want to paper, paper the whole thing is because when you fold this up, if you haven't folded it exact, then um, you'll see, oh, it won't matter. It won't matter because it'll just be cream. Yes, it will, because we're going to paper this. Now, if you don't want to paper this, you don't have to. And that will save you a step. But we are going to paper this. So let's... I'm just going to leave it. So then we're going to glue along this line here. To glue our tuck shut. Just up to the diagonal line. And that glues the top shut across here. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to go wash my hands. My hands are still look red, but I used hot water and my hands were so cold that, um, look at that, I still got some. That's where it was coming from. I was seeing a little bit of the ink and I was like, must be coming from my fingers. Okay, now that we've got our flap, um, we need to paper this part right here. I'm going to 
flip it over so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I want to cut a diagonal from here. there. Hopefully this won't turn out like that other diagonal I was trying to cut. Oh boy. That was embarrassing. That diagonal belly band that never appeared. Figured out what I had done wrong. I just cut a horizontal belly band and then take the corners off. But, you know, live and learn. Okay. So now we just paper this. I'm going to ink it. I was going to try to do video 9, which is going to be the cover. But I can't do it until I get more glue. So I guess I'll record that tomorrow. And then we'll be done. So we've got that cover. Got that cover. Now we're going to glue this onto the page as a tuck as well. So we're only going to glue the 90 degree angle parts of the paper. And that's why you make it so long too. like I was getting a volcano there. And then you glue it right up along the corner in the corner. straight across. Oh, we're still too long. I thought for sure. We'll cut a little bit off of that. There's no glue in there hardly and yet it's gushing out. Never had so much trouble. I think I made it too thin. You know what I mean? I think I uh, put too much acetate in there. Okay. Now we're going to put our magnet on. We'll 
spider webs coming off of there. Well, that was kind of silly, wasn't it? Oh, and the magnet broke. My friend Joy was like, I didn't know those would do that. I'm like, yep. I'm only a millimeter thick. When it flew over there and hit that stack that hard, it cracked the magnet right in half. So you want to avoid that if you can. <laughs> Why is everything so... was not our hour timer. That was my timer to chat with my friend. We usually chat at 8 a.m. on Tuesdays, but she's sick today. We're going to do it tomorrow, and I forgot to turn the timer off to remind me. Oh, I know why, because of the tuck under here. So then for this area here, we're going to make a card. Oops. Now, if your cardstock isn't as thick, then you um, won't have as big of a, you know, bulge right there. You know, I think I can glue that down a little bit right there in that corner. cover it with paper or it will measure the paper and then I'm not going to cover this on the front and the back on camera because you guys know how to paper this this is going to have a belly band no long card and then, um, let's see. Oh, that's not what that's going to be. This is the card. Yes, I don't have paper set aside anyway, but I need paper that I, I want to image that I don't have to. Um, oh, that was this. I thought that was this. Let's. Let's do this. Instead of the card, my stool has started squeaking. It's driving me nuts.
I think it's because I swing back and forth on it all the time. And I don't sit right in the middle. It's tipping the stool part forward, I think. going to be almost the right length. Then we'll glossy accent the bird. More glossy accents. I'm almost out of that too, but that's coming today as well. Sorry, I'm not very talkative this morning. I don't know why I'm kind of tired. I didn't sleep very good. that little bit of red that rubbed off from the dust huh? So I fib, we will be covering this. <laughs> Remember to leave your cream colored border. See, that looks nice. And glossy accent the bird. So then um, we'll make a card, which is this size, out of something. I've used these bird papers so much, but I want a nice, uh, image on the card. Let's see. The rest are just the, well, I could do just a collage card and then um, uh, put a um, glossy accented um, piece of ephemera on it. could even put a stacked tag on it. Got some. I got a stacked postcard as well. These were from the Artie Mays kit. If you get the add-on kit. So see you've got the postcards that you can stack and then decorate. I think I would like that the best. If you did that, you could um, make another pocket out of it on the card. I think we'll do that. Yeah, we only have eight minutes, so we're going to have to do the next page in the um, next video. And then for the cover, I'll go ahead and have the cardboard all cut out and ready to go.
So you're going to cover this side, up this underneath side, and put a belly band. Or uh, if you're afraid of the card coming out, um, you can just put a large pocket. Or you can put a pocket up here and have a large tuck. That would be kind of fun to have a tuck here and a tuck here. So I think I'll do that, actually. this in half first and cut it in half. That way we still have the one half that we can use if we need to. We've only got one more page left. Which I've got all the papers set aside for that one. We're just going to make a policy closure pocket for the back page. All right, I'm going to use this one because we're going to cover that Merry and Joy or Merry Christmas. Now let's cut it. This one I'll probably put the um, large stencil on the back and not one of the little ones that I bought. They're three by threes. I have to put a whole bunch on there to make a difference. Maybe not though. You want to be able to write on it. A lot of people wouldn't want to write across that red. Might be hard to see. Especially if you're a pencil writer, if you like to write in pencil. I forgot to cut this side. Make sure that's the right size. Then we'll round all of our corners. a little narrow so we can narrow our card down a little bit. All right, somebody's crooked. I don't want to keep making the cards smaller and smaller. What is wrong with me this morning? Can't even make a card. That's all right for the size. looks crooked. It is. Okay, now let's measure. Now it seems to be fine.
I'll trim this little smidge by hand. It was when I had trimmed that paper and the other one together. And then I'll, you can see where this is crooked, so I'll trim it off. Because we know this one is straight. Now, we know it's straight now. <laughs> Okay, we've got one minute left. So we're going to glue this on here. Trim this down just a smidge. Or turn it this way. We'll turn it this way. And then stack it this way. And then we'll have two more pockets. On front of the uh, card. That we can put things in. Okay. All right. So that's what I'll do off camera. And then I will, um, and that's this page and I'll redo the envelope for that envelope flip, um, off camera as well. But I showed you how to do the folds and stuff. So, um, that'll work like that. Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Now that I've made a mistake on both pages, but you know how to do it. Um, and, uh, Anyway, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video, and that will be just a second for you and a day for me, literally, because I'm out of glue. Okay, bye.